Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to the lesson two of the class of science. So this is the lesson two and it's going to have the class word two. Remember, all the class work, the class work one, two, three, four, five, uh, you have time, you will have time until 11 of December, 11 of December, December 11th, to present the classwork, okay? Lesson two, that does mean that, uh, that you can do it now or you can do it later. But for me, my advice is that you can work because you have time now to do it. Okay, thank you for the people that is giving and presenting the class work on time. Okay, lesson two. Today we are going to see a topic, an important topic, and the name is uh, energy on, move, on the move. Energy on the move, right? How do the laws of thermodynamics, thermodynamics rule the universe? This is the question, right? The word is thermodynamics. Thermodynamics is the study of how energy moves through the world. Remember, heat is energy, right? When we say heat, we can say heat, the heat of the sun, the movement of the river. We, with the movement of the river, we can find electricity or energy, right? We have different ways, right? With the fire, we can make energy or produce uh, a, something similar, right? Heat is energy moving from one place to another, right? When heat adds energy to a substance, right? The atoms and molecules begin moving from more rapidly, right? Rapidly. They have more thermal energy, thermal energy. The amount of thermal energy is a substance that determines whether it will be a solid, liquid, or gas, right? Whether it will be a solid, liquid, or gas. The molecules in solids are packed tightly together and move slowly. Heat increases the thermal energy, right? So the molecules move more rapidly and bounce again each other with more force force right they need more room to move so the solid expands and the substance changes into a liquid more heat brings more thermal energy and the substance expands once more to become a gas so it uh, like a conclusion of this reading is that we can determine that thermodynamics, right, is the study of energy moves through the world and the different uh, stages, for example, of one substance. It's not water. Water is only one. We can have different and we can include chemics or other substances that can convert solid, liquid, or gas. And the word is expands, right? expands right so let's go to the reading energy does not or doesn't just flow randomly around the universe through it follows the three laws of thermodynamics the first law energy is neither created nor destroyed neither Neither, right? Never, never create it nor destroy it. This means that there's only so much energy in the universe. It constantly moves around. Constantly, con constantly, constantly, constant, right? It's not going to stop. It's not going to destroy it. But the amount never changes. Drop, right? Drop an ice cube into a cup of hot cocoa and you will see this law in action thermal energy moves from the cocoa into the ice and the solid turns a liquid the ice melts at the same time the cocoa cools because 
uh, it lost thermal energy to the ice and on a much bigger scale energy moves from place to place in the universe but the total amount never changes second law okay sorry the second law I'm sorry. The second law. The natural state of the universe is entropy. Entropy. When two substances have different amounts of thermal energy, this second law says that the energy will move between them until they both have equal amounts. Heat always flows toward the substance. With the with less thermal energy through the only way to get heat to move into into in the opposite direction is to use more energy. And the third law as a substance approaches absolute zero. Absolute zero. Its entropy becomes total at absolute zero atoms and molecules stop moving and they have no energy because they're spread even evenly evenly and randomly throughout the substance absolute zero is only a theory through just remember that the colder something is the less energy it has aha uh -huh. the third law as a substance approaches absolute zero is entropy entropy because becomes total right at absolute zero atoms and molecules start moving okay very good let's go to the classwork that classwork circle the letter of the best answer to each question below the energy that a substance contain contains is equilibrium heat Thermal energy or entropy? Aha! Uh -huh. The energy the substance contains. Aha! Uh -huh. Is? Which of these? Energy always move, moves from water to ice to gas. Energy always moves from water to ice to gas. Substances with more energy toward those with less areas areas with low energy toward areas with high energy equilibrium to entropy aha uh -huh. in the third the amount of energy in the universe is always changing mm, i don't think so being created and destroyed all the time mm, i don't think so always moving toward absolute zero and constant remember very good the second part of the classwork. Write your answers on the lines below. In Earth's atmosphere, hot air near the surface always rises toward the cooler air higher in the atmosphere. This is an example of which law of thermodynamics? Super easy. Super easy. In your own words, right? When you walk barefoot, without shoes barefoot does mean without shoes right across a hot hot sidewalk you feel the heat on your feet yes or not oh obviously right explain what's happening with the molecules in both the sidewalk and you feel in your feel in your feet sorry in which direction thermal energy is moving aha uh -huh. super super easy so you're going to explain what's going on with this when you don't use shoes, barefoot, right? Does mean when you don't have shoes, it, it, it sucks too. When you're when you pick up a, an ice cube, your hand gets cold. Using the laws of thermodynamics, explain why your hand feels cold. I think it's the second law. You're going to explain and answer these questions. Okay. See you. We are going to see. The, we are not going to have this week uh, online. We are going to try to advance. Uh, sorry, we are going to have meet probably. I'm going to tell you when. But before to make the meet, I want to make the third lesson. So I want to make three lessons and make the, mean, make the meet. 
And then for the next week, make the quiz of these three lessons. And then stay ready for the other three lessons and make the exam. Please study, read. And if you don't understand, read it again, read it again, read the three laws. And if you don't understand, you can watch a video related with the topic, right? Thermodynamic is the topic. Love you so much. Bye-bye.